Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to do a collection of every single season of Moments Quest that we can find here in the Prairie Peaks. So we should have a total of five quests to complete, and we'll get right on those. But first, I do want to show you where you can find this location if you're not 100% sure on where it is in the Realms of Sky. I just think for newer players, one of the things that gets lost so easily in this game is the locations of different places. It is such an expansive, huge, huge world, and the veteran players, myself, I think a lot of the time we don't realize how confusing it can be for newer players. So this area can be found in the Daylight Prairie. We're going to head left here and go into the Prairie Caves. I believe we need two spirits from the Isle of Dawn and three from the Daylight Prairie to get through that little barrier. And then we have one more barrier over on the left here, and I think you need one spirit from the Hidden Forest to get through this one. So it's not too difficult. I think most players should have collected at least that many spirits. But head through here, jump on up, and then we sit in a boat, and this boat will take us to the Prairie Peaks. And here we are to find the main area. We just have to go basically from the front of the boat here through this little tiny cave. And we are in this massive, expansive, and beautiful area, the Prairie Peaks. And of course, the quest giver can be found just ahead by this little ramp down there. Beautiful, just gorgeous place. And the quests are pretty fast if you haven't done them, so we'll get them done probably in about half an hour. Also, as a shortcut, if you have got to the sixth season of Revival Quest, you should have the Moments Guide in the Aviary Village. You can just teleport straight there by speaking to them. I just think it's important to know where places are. That's all. Um, and also, the first time you speak to the spirit, they will give you a camera prop, which is probably one of the best props in the game. It's super handy, and it's a great way to take pictures of yourself and, of course, your friends. So yes, we're back in the Prairie Peaks, and now we are going to officially start the quests. Starting with quest number one. For this quest, we are going to photograph the Reassuring Ranger's favorite landmarks. So this one's pretty easy, and it's a good way to kind of get some practice on how to actually handle and use the camera. The Reassuring Ranger enjoys admiring the landmarks during their hikes through Prairie Peaks. And we're going to take some pictures for them. So to start this, we actually have to sit at a meditation spot, which is over here. Hi. Zoom out. There we go. So this is where we technically start the first quest. So in this quest, we have to take a series of different photos. They'll give us a little bit of a prompt and we just have to follow that. So let's follow the moment's guide over here and take our first picture. Point. Ah uh, yes, the monolith. Take out your new camera and take a picture of the rock monolith. So there are of course some controls you can play with. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can focus, you can go out of focus, you can turn up the brightness, turn it down. You can also hold your camera in like a selfie mode or a tripod mode. Just play around with and practice with your camera during these series of quests and you should have it pretty figured out. So we've done our first photo. Beautiful. Rock monolith. Now they want us to photograph the bird and the rock monolith in a single picture. So for this one you do probably have to zoom in onto the bird. So we're going to take out our camera. Point it up there. And this time we will zoom in a little bit. Just need a little bit of the monolith and the bird in the same picture. Where's the bird? There it is. 
It's a terrible photo, but it works. How beautiful. Okay. You don't have to gas me up so hard. Talk in the moment's guide to decide what to photograph next. So now whenever we tap on the button above the moments guide's head, it'll change which photo it wants us to take. So we have photograph the biggest waterfall. We have photograph the tallest mountain while the sun is shining. Photograph a big flock of birds at night. That one will have to wait. It is daylight right now. Take a picture of the entrance cliffs and the rock monolith in the same frame. So for this one, we want to go to like the opposite side of the big monolith and point towards the entrance where we came and just take a picture with both of them. And that one should work. Now we're gonna go back to the moment's guide and accept a different quest. And we're gonna cycle through all of them until we've completed each of these prompts. So what shall we do next? Hmm. Well, let's see. I guess we should get that daylight one out of the way while it is daylight. Biggest waterfall, the tallest mountain peak while the sun is shining. So this one over here, all the way at the top, you can see there's a shiny boy at the top. So bright. That quest is complete. Now for a new prompt. I guess maybe we'll do the waterfall. That one's going to be a little bit of a journey. Of course, I'm not doing this as nicely as I could be. I'm not actually taking beautiful photos, but if you wanted to, you could wait for the uh, time of day to change a little bit and you could take the pictures at sunset sunrise so it looks very pretty you could also get much closer than I'm gonna get to the big waterfall I'm just gonna go right over here and zoom all the way in I'm not taking too much care I'm just getting these quests done so that is the big waterfall all the way over there let's take out our camera I'm gonna zoom in and blink done great composition Thank you. Return and get a new quest. All right, I believe my final prompt is the one that I have to take at nighttime. Photograph a big flock of birds at night, which is this. You can see that the, uh, the reticle in the middle is flashing when I get what I'm supposed to be pointing at. However, it is not night, so this quest is not completing. And unfortunately, turning the brightness down doesn't do anything. We actually do have to wait until it's nighttime, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm going to lay down, uh, waste some time. Again, take your time taking these photos because you will have to wait a little while for it to turn to nighttime. So you might as well take some pretty ones while you're at it. Okay, I've had the orange skies for a while now. I think they're starting to turn blue. So I'm going to see if this finally works. Yippee! Okay, how beautiful. All right, the first quest is done. You photographed all of the reassuring ranger's favorite landmarks. So we're going to go back to the moment's guide, turn in our quest, and start the next one. And of course, upon turning in the quest, we also get a heart. We are not going to waste any time. Let's start the second quest. For this one, we have to photograph the Nightbird Whisperer's favorite light creature. And I believe this one can only be done at nighttime. So if you've just completed that nighttime quest, this is the perfect time to start this next one. The Nightbird Whisperer is determined to learn more about light creatures. Off it goes. It scares too easy. All right, let's meet the moment's guide all the way over to the left. And then once again, we have to sit at their little portal to start the quest. Let's make our way over.
for this quest, we have to keep our distance from the light creature to avoid disturbing it. So for this one, we want to use the zoom on our camera pretty often. Hi, Nightbird. Use your camera zoom slider to photograph the light creature from a distance. You got it. Take our camera out. And zoom. Beautiful little bird. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to watch it pretty closely because it does fly away kind of fast. And if you're not watching it, you might lose where it's going. So for this one, we're just gonna go up. I also recommend not flying too much because there aren't a lot of places to recharge your winged light. So try and climb up when you can or else you'll end up flightless. And that always sucks. Oh, hi. Hi, bird. Take a picture of me right here. For this next part here, it's going to be flying around in circles. You might have to zoom in a little bit. That is not a great picture, but it works. And then from here, it goes behind that rock. So we have to move forwards. Um, I think, yeah, I went left, but you may benefit more from going right. Uh, just when it moves in the future, you'll see I had to reset. Stop here, take a picture. Hi, bird. So beautiful. All right, and then for its next point, it basically lands where we are, so I kind of failed this part and it reset me. I got too close. I didn't even move. So it reset me over where the bird was sitting last time. And I was kind of confused, where am I? Beautiful wingspan. And then we're going to follow it into the cave. And then we must be having some sort of a night bird migration because there's suddenly a lot. We just have to take a picture of at least one of them close up. And that's it for quest number two. Now let's head back to the moment's guide and turn it in. Again, once we turn it in, we get another heart. Very nice. We also get a little high five option to use on the spirit. And let's start the third quest, which is to help the Jolly Geologist. Photograph the Jolly Geologist's glowing crystals. The Jolly Geologist is studying crystals that glow and sparkle when your light is nearby. So we have to go and meet them over by their cave which is just beyond, a little bit straight from where the Moment's Guide is. The camera just kept zooming out. Wow, that is a distance. Now for me, I only have four flaps. So if you're like me, if you're a newer player, uh, at least this account is, um, be sure to utilize the butterflies and any sort of light blooms you may find to charge yourself and give yourself more flight because this place is so expansive that 
it's kind of a bad idea to come here with so little Megan Light and so little flaps. But I'll make do. Into the cave we go! And we're going to sit down here and start the third quest. The Jolly Geologist is studying crystals that glow and sparkle. Yes, yes. So we're going to want to get really close to some of these rock formations you can see until they sparkle, and then we'll take a picture of them. Get close to the crystal to take a picture while it's glowing bright. So just like that, pretty easy. Find four more crystals. Get very close to take a picture while they glow and sparkle. So there are a few more we can find in this cave. Um, and there's also plenty more that you can actually find within the prairie peaks. There's some where we find like the night bird. There's some over on the mountains. Here is one right here. And you'll notice I totally forgot that they said get close so it sparkles. So we're going to move closer. Ah, oh, sparkle. And that's number two done. Two out of five. We're going to dive down here by pushing the dive button. Which, for me, I don't know why I wasn't able to push it. And we're going to go through this little cave. Once we're through here and inside, we're going to find the Mega Crystal. Now this one's glowing and sparkling by default, so you don't actually have to get close to it, which is nice. Hi, Mega Crystal. Beautiful. I'm going to grab that light, and then I'm going to leave and find some more, because I think we're tapped out of this cave. But even if we aren't, we're going to have to head back to the Moments Guide anyways. So I like to make sure I'm headed in that direction so I don't have to fly so far. Alright, we're going to go down here into the water. For the other way out. Through another underwater cave. And I think straight ahead we can see some um, stones here. Yes. Some sparkling gemstones. Unfortunately, I'm so low. Oh my good light. Life is so tough. For a little moth like me. So I take a picture of this one. And I think we have one more after this one. Get close enough for it to sparkle. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go across and charge on one of these light blooms because I have no flight. Uh, you can head back towards the moment's guide and look for any crystals along the way. There should be some on the sides of the mountains, or there's some by the manatees, or there's some in the nightbird whispers cave. They're pretty much everywhere. They are a little bit hidden though. So just head this way and you should be able to see some. And I see one below right now. This is the one that was right in front by the manatees. And that should be my last picture. Now we're going to go back to the moment's guide and turn in the quest. Turning in quest number three will give us another heart. And then we're going to start number four. You received a heart. Yippee. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's time for our fourth quest. This one we are going to have to photograph the ascetic monk's pilgrimage. So for this quest, it's actually going to rain. You're going to want to be careful of that. Avoid it if you can, because it is actually toxic rain, kind of like in the Hidden Forest. And we're just going to follow them up a mountain. I don't think it starts raining until we actually sit down at the Moments Guides portal. This portal can be found over kind of on the left side by the mountain. And again, it's pretty far, so utilize the butterflies whenever you can. 
please carry me my bugs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yippee! Okay. I like this quest a lot. It actually showed me a secret cave. I had no idea this mysterious cave was here before. Let us sit down and start the quest. It started raining. Join the moment's guide and find some shelter. Okay, into the cave we go. I don't have enough light for all of this. And as we make our way up, we'll be able to see the ascetic monk. Hi, monk. Let's take a deep breath, and then they want us to take a picture of what they are appreciating. So we're going to take a picture of the general area. The monk can be in it. All about appreciating the voyage and the little journey that we're on. Beautiful. All right. A little higher we go. Again, be careful of the rain. If you're like me, it might actually be kind of dangerous with only four flaps, but if you have more than that, you should be fine. Up and up and kind of down and then up again we go. Monk, where are you? Hi. Take a deep breath once more. And once again, we're going to take a picture of the surroundings and appreciate them. And even higher we go. Let's find that monk again. One more deep breath. And appreciate the landscape. And then here is the cave that I had no clue existed until I did this quest. Very serene area. The moment's guy doesn't want us to uh, disturb the ascetic monk's meditation. So we're going to use the zoom slider and zoom in as much as we can. Look how serene they are. And we are done with the fourth quest. Now let's head back to the moment's guide, and we will turn it in. The rain should let up, so you should have a safe flight back. Again, if you need any uh, light or anything before you go down, there should be some light blooms somewhere along the side of the mountain. But you should also be able to glide a fair distance until you get to the butterflies. Okay, we're back. We're turning in the fourth quest, and we are about to start the fifth. Once again, once we turn it in, we can get another heart. Yay, hearts! 
Thank you, Mopin's Guide. All right, it is time for our fifth and final quest for the season of moments. Find all four spirits and bring them to the moments guide. So this one's pretty easy. We just have to do a lot of flying and collect them. Now that the rain has ceased, the flowers in Prairie Peaks have begun to bloom. The moments guide is looking for the other spirits. Bring them here to enjoy this moment. Ranger. Whisperer, Geologist, Monk, but it echoes because it's a mountain. Monk, Monk, Monk. All right, let's sit down at this little place right in front of us here and we'll get into this quest. All the flowers here are so beautiful now. This whole area is just covered with them in front of us, behind us, to the left, to the right, literally everywhere. Gorgeous. Now we're gonna go and collect each of the seasonal spirits from this season. Uh, you can do whatever direction you'd like or which spirit you'd like to collect first. I'm gonna go this way. I just think it's fastest to do a little U throughout the entire area. So first we're gonna get the ranger. Hi, Ranger. For each of these spirits, we first do a little photo together and then they join our posse as we continue on collecting the rest of them. So take a nice picture with your favorite. Oh, wow, I look tired. <laughs> take a nice picture with all of these spirits. And head to whichever one you want to next. I'm going to go to the Jolly Geologist, but of course it's up to you. You can go to any of them. If you're not 100% sure where you can find each of these spirits, you can always do a call and it should direct you to uh, maybe the nearest one or whichever one it thinks you should collect first. But I'm going to go to the Jolly Geologist in this cave. Uh, they're pretty hidden this time. They're actually deep within the cave, so we'll have to dive down and find them next to that big gemstone. Hi there, buddy. So once again, we'll take a picture. Wave, wave, wave. And then they will join our little crew. This time, maybe I'll set up the tripod. Hi. Cute. All right. Join our crew and out we go for the next spirit. I'm gonna go for the, uh, the monk. Down through here, sploosh into the water, and out we go. What's really nice about these spirits when you're carrying them is they kind of act as a battery and they'll slowly charge you. So you don't have to worry so much, especially again for me. I only have four flaps on this account, so it's nice to be constantly charged when you have so little flight. Still gonna land here, charge up a little bit. Hello. There you are. Take another picture with you and then join us. We're seeing the moments guide. Come along.
We have one final spirit to collect. That is the night bird whisperer. And they'll be kind of on the right-hand side of where we are within a cave system. Fly up against this cloud, get lots of charge. BB. Hello there, my friend. Come join us. But first, a picture, of course. Oh, I'm sorry, geologist. I can't fit you in it. Oh, 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 uh, I'm sorry. Come along. The moment's guide awaits. Moment's guide, I brought all your buddies. And the quest will complete. Hello. Complete, you brought all the spirits together. All right, let's turn it in and see the finale. We get a big group picture with every spirit. I have no emotes. Point. Cute. Oh. Such a cute end to this quest line, which is all about learning how to use the camera and, you know, enjoying the moment, enjoying this huge, massive, sprawling space. Bye, spirits. See you some other time. Yeah. That's it. That is the, where is, where am I? Whoa. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is the Season of Moments quest line. If we speak to the quest giver again, of course we have one more candle to collect. Thank you very much, Moments Guide. And that's it. Very easy, pretty fast paced um, quest experience to finish all of the Season of Moments. Thank you guys so much, as always, for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.